Hello everybody, this is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive uh, bringing you today a tutorial for Tidy Tilemapper, uh, an editor extension for the Unity game engine now available on the Asset Store uh, that allows you to paint and create tile-based game maps uh, within the Unity editor in a fun, I guess, and very easy to use manner. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create custom blocks using the block editor uh, in Tidy Tilemapper. Uh, as you can see we're currently in Unity with the Tidy Tilemapper window open on the right here. So let's go ahead and click block editor and I'll take you through it. Uh, this is the block editor window. Uh, once you install the package you will have an empty block and the standard block. These come with the package by default. Um, but today we're going to be creating our own block. Uh, so click this button right here, add block, and as you can see we've got a uh, an empty block now. Let's give it a rename, demo block, um, and I'll take you through the anatomy of a block. Uh, a block is composed of many, many orientations. This is how uh, Tidy Tile Mapper is able to automatically orient your tiles when you paint them into the map. Uh, these icons here uh, represent the orientation of a tile in the map. Uh, white is emptiness, grey is other blocks, and red is the block in question. So this icon here represents a block surrounded by nothing, so just a block floating in mid-air, whereas the icon below it represents a block completely surrounded by blocks. Uh, another would be the one below that, which is a block just on a flat surface with sky above it and ground below it, so uh, like a path. Um, as you play with it, it will become uh, more obvious what they do. We have corners and diagonals, anything you really require to realize your level painting dreams. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a block to this uh, orientation here. Uh, you just click on this little circle here, it's a standard Unity object field, uh, and you'll be given a list of all of the game objects in your project. Uh, now a tile is just a game object. It can really be anything in the world, so the manner in which it's presented, uh, what functionality it has, uh, its physics properties, uh, how it reacts to light, its shader, anything like that is all up to you. Uh, Tidy Time Mapper will uh, align and place it uh, for you. Uh, everything else you're free to do as you wish. So this was the center alone block and I've put together a little tile set here to demonstrate to you. Uh, I've named it center alone because that's very easy so just give it a double click. As you can see the field is now center alone so we'll add the variant and there we go. Um, now you can really have as many things as you like here, and this is what drives the Tidy Tile Mapper randomization uh, aspect. Uh, if you decide that this is not what you like in your block set, you can click this little X here and it will remove it. Uh, everything has a tooltip, uh, so you can just mouse over to see what it does. And really this is how you create blocks, you just uh, click it again, find the one that you want to use, click Add Variant, and continue. Uh, one other thing that bears mentioning is you do not have to put a block into every single field, that would be really a bit a bit much. We like to give you the option uh, if you if you choose to, but uh, that's quite overkill. So what we provide is a little checkbox right here, uh, which sets this block set as the default. So when you're mapping, if you don't have a block set for that particular orientation, it will use the default set, um, which is very, very helpful. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and populate the rest of this. Uh, I've put a few orientations in here, top surrounded, bottom surrounded, etc. Excellent, we've now added all of the blocks that we've, uh, we've created for this block set, so we'll go ahead and click save which is up in the upper right here. It will also prompt you to save uh, if you change blocks or if you close the window. As you can see, it's generated a preview, so we can see what we're working with here. So now we can go back to the Unity Editor and start painting. Just close that window. Now before we do that, I'd like to show you uh, exactly what these blocks are that I was putting in, these game objects. I just constructed them uh, from a plane and a texture, really. So if we drag this into our scene, I'll show you exactly what it is. 
it's just a plane uh, with a texture in it. The texture is uh, is simply uh, hand painted bricks. Um, so that's really all the tidy tile mapper needs: game objects uh, to place in the scene. Now that plane happened to be one by one. So when we go to create a new map up here, we'll give it a name: demo scene. And uh, our tile width as our object is one by one. Uh, width will be one, and height will be one. We're going to create a uh, platformer style, so the growth axis will be up, uh, and we'll click Add Map. And uh, now, as you can see, we, our initial chunk is now in the world. So let's go ahead and start painting with the block we've created, which is now in our swatches palette just down here. So as you can see, uh, it's correctly aligned itself based on the orientations we've set in the block editor. Uh, and if we were to paint a few lines through there, we can see that it's picking up on the uh, block alignments we set, and uh, everything is looking pretty good. Excellent, so that's really all there is to it with creating your own blocks for Tidy Tile Mapper. Uh, you can go ahead and add as many variations as you like. Um, really set anything. Uh, you can place down objects, characters, things that move, even uh, blocks with particles. It's really an object placement system. So uh, really uh, the sky is the limit. I'd like to see, see what you come up with. Um, so check it out on the Asset Store. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, follow me on Twitter or uh, catch me on the Unity forums or my blog if you've got any questions about Tidy Tile Mapper. Uh, in the meantime, I hope this has been a, an informative tutorial video for you, and uh, have fun in your Unity development adventures. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive, presenting Tidy Tile Mapper.